Many of you have expressed deep anger and disappointment. Many of you are upset that someone who attempted to destroy our democracy was invited to sit on a stage in front of a crowd of Republican voters to answer questions. Many of you think CNN shouldn't have given him any platform to speak, and I understand the anger about that. Giving him the audience, the time, I get that. But this is what I also get. The man you were so disturbed to see and hear from last night, that man is the front runner for the Republican nomination for president. And according to polling, no other Republican is even close. That man you were so upset to hear from last night, he may be president of the United States in less than two years. And that audience that upset you, that's a sampling of about half the country. They are your f I, I don't know why the CNN would let Donald Trump go up there and say that Joe Biden, stunning and brave, did not win the most votes <laughs> ever. I, this is a threat. Yes, welcome back. I reacted to two videos partaking to what happened recently on CNN. I recently came across a video with Anderson Koba. He said something that triggered my attention partaking to that town hall. And the view reacted to that. You think CNN shouldn't have given him any platform to speak. And I understand the anger about that. Giving him the audience, the time, I get that. But this is what I also get. The man you were so disturbed to see and hear from last night, that man is the front runner for the Republican nomination for president. And according to polling, no other Republican is even close. That man you were so upset to hear from last night, he may be president of the United States in less than two years. And that audience that upset you, that's a sampling of about half the country. They are your family members, your neighbors, and they are voting. And many said they're voting for him. Now. Maybe you haven't been paying attention to him since he left office. Maybe you've been enjoying not hearing from him, thinking it can't happen again. Some investigation is going to stop him. Well, it hasn't so far. So if last night showed anything, it showed it can happen again. It is happening again. He hasn't changed, and he is running hard. You have every right to be outraged today and angry and never watch this network again. But do you think staying in your silo and only listening to people you agree with is going to make that person go away? I said it, just the same talking point. Because you disagree with someone politically, it is not a justification to tell me or someone that the person should not appear on this TV station. It is insane. These people forget one thing. CNN is out to work money. They can do all types of things to increase their ratings. We saw that just with the appearance of Trump, they had over 3 million people watching. For a very long time, CNN has not seen that. Even Fox News did not have. That was a boost to the network. Now, Anderson Cooper coming out here to say a lot of things I agree with him on just a single point where he said you can never avoid Trump and it will never happen. Yes. <laughs> so this whole week has been basically dominated by Donald Trump at the town hall, okay? And CNN got a, little a lot of flack for it. They thought he shouldn't be, you know, he should not be given that kind of a platform to spew his constant uh, pathological lying. Um, but last night, um, to, oh, what's his name? Anderson, Anderson, Anderson Cooper. Cooper got on TV to defend their position. <laughs> that town hall did not win him a single vote. He played to his base. It turned people off who have kind of forgotten what a buffoon he is. But I want to say this, and full disclosure, I also work for CNN. Anderson Cooper is a friend, someone I think the world of. I agree with him. I even find myself as a Republican falling victim to like, he could never be president again. Oh, not this guy after everything. 74 million people voted for him. Ha nearly half this country liked what they saw. And there's this notion, I think, in the media debate around this that if he didn't go on CNN, he could just be silenced and would go away. This is 2023. Honestly, cable news, network news is not as powerful as it once was. He can reach tens of millions of people a day on other platforms. Yeah. Chris Sununu, yeah. Chris Christie, Asa Going Hutchinson, yeah. Chompy the Bit, Will Hurd, they are ready to go after him because they're like, wait, this guy is as crazy as ever. He's going to be more dangerous yeah. than the last time. I think it was 
the right thing to do, stand by that. I, I have to just add that to that. I agree with you. Uh, and I said that because uh, Sonny and I disagreed, and I, I thought he should be put on. W what I objected to was the audience, mm -hmm. not him. It was the cheering and the clapping and the encouragement they were giving him to be more of a comedian and get mm -hmm. laughed. She now says she was not against Trump, but against the people laughing on the background which is contrary to the clip I posted yesterday where she went on insane run, you know, she was at a level to even cry that Trump had the segment on CNN. When you take a look at Joy Behar, I would say she is scared and a bit jealous that people were clapping for Trump because some believe that this is the same strategy he used, you know, to win the election. And so him starting back to do this and a lot of people develop to love him, clapping for him, is a bad idea. That is a reason you can see Joy Beha behaving like this. She said this. I think I will play this video. I put out yesterday will not exist if you want to do that. It is totally insane to see people getting up every day just to run for reasons I don't even get. So yesterday, <laughs> CNN had a town hall with you know who. <laughs> and for me, CNN showed me that they were a ball free zone. What'd y'all think of this? <laughs> yes. Funny. I have to say, start, start this off with, I was wrong. She said they shouldn't show him, and I said they should because I'm a very big defender of the First Amendment, and mm -hmm. I believe that everybody should show who they really are and let's vote accordingly. But what I didn't know was that the audience would be filled with his cult. <laughs> I would like to know if CNN was passing out Kool-Aid before the event started. <laughs> The guy is uh, trashing um, E. Jean again. Yeah. I wish. I, I wonder if she can sue him for defamation again. Yeah. She probably can. She made a five million dollar whack job. Yeah. She probably can. And 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 when he, and he, he when he was trashing her, this annoying audience was clapping. That Why was would CNN put only Republicans and people who love him in the audience? You know, if I do a comedy show and everybody loves me, I'm going to be funnier. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. But if you have people who don't particularly think you're that funny, you have to work harder. Well, that's what I saw last night. I saw a bad stand-up comedian with a bunch of people in his cult who love him. Yes, according to this article published by the Daily Mail, you cannot ignore that Trump fans exist. Just like you cannot ignore Trump. CNN boss Chris lays down the law on morning calls with incensed staffers who complained about town hall.